Hello and welcome to another edition of Steve Y the Fix-It Guy. I'm Steve Yaxi and today we're here in the garage because the garage door opener is acting up. It'll quit, but when I tap on it, it'll come back to life only to quit again shortly afterwards. So that tells me there's a loose connection somewhere, either a wire or possibly even a fracture on a PC board. So let's go check it out. So the opener that we're dealing with here is a LiftMaster Professional made by Chamberlain. One of the first things we want to take a look at are these wires right here and make sure that they're not loose. Um, these wires go to the push button as well as to the sensors on the door. So I'm just going to spread this light cover and get it down and then just take a pair of needle nose pliers here and we're just going to kind of gently pull on these wires to make sure that they're secure and they are. Uh, I doubted that was the problem in the first place but you need to check the easiest things first. So now what I'm going to do is just remove this light bulb because we're going to need to take this panel off right here. Behind this panel are two PC boards and interconnections and we want to take a look at those. There are three screws, two here and then there's one inside this hole right here uh, that we want to remove in order to get this panel off. Before we do anything else, we're going to disconnect it from the outlet up on the ceiling. So now that we've disconnected it from the power, um, we need to remove these wires right here so that we can uh, get this panel off. Um, we're going to need to remember uh, where they're located, but it, it is easy because on this side, uh, which actually goes to the push button, uh, we have a red stripe wire and a pure white wire. And then on this side, we have two pairs of wires, both coming from the door itself and each pair has a black stripe and a white wire and um, same thing for this other pair. So obviously the black stripe will go to the black connection, the whites will go to the white connections, and the red stripe will go to the red connection. So let's get these off. So the first thing we'll do in order to do this is we'll just take uh, a small screwdriver and we'll push, push on the button and remove this wire. And then we'll do the same thing for the white one, and then we can just get them out of the way. And then we'll do the same thing for these other wires. Now that we have those wires out of the way, we're going to use a quarter inch nut driver to remove the three screws that hold the panel in place. Now that we've got the screws removed, we can take the panel off and turn it around. And here you'll see uh, the two PC boards and some interconnections. Um, these connectors here, we're going to need to take them off so that we can take this panel to our workbench. There we go. One of the things we'll want to do to make life easy for us is to remove this light cover. And it just pops right off. And that way we can get to the PC boards easy. So now I'm going to remove this PC board and there's really three Phillips head screws that we're going to loosen. And so we'll just take a Phillips head screwdriver and take those off. So I've taken those three screws off and we do have an interconnect. You can see it just underneath there. Uh, I'm just going to pull this off and you can see this connection right here. And I'm going to make a guess because I know that this unit is many years old and it's out here in the elements and the heat and the cold season after season and I'm guessing that this connection right here is not reliable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slightly bend these pins so they make a better connection and we're going to put it back together and we'll see if that solves the problem. Now that we have the PC boards uh, back into the panel, we're going to reinstall the panel onto the door opener and first thing we'll do is attach these connections. They are keyed uh, with spaces so make sure you line those up and plug it in. Alright and then we can reinstall our panel with the screws. So 
So we'll just attach these other two screws and then uh, we'll be done. Now that we have our panel back on, uh, we're gonna want to reinstall these wires that go to the door sensors and of course to the push button. And we're just gonna use a pair of needle nose pliers and we're gonna take the wire. This is the black stripe wire, so it's gonna go to the black terminal and we're gonna push it into the hole until it's secure. And you can gently pull the wire to make sure that it is. And the white wire, the solid white wire, will go to the white terminal again push it in all the way, pull it just to make sure that it's secure. Um, we're gonna continue on with the rest of the wires. So we've got the wires installed. Uh, we tucked them away on these clips. Um, of course, the red stripe goes to the red terminal. All the white wires go to the white terminals and our black stripes go to the black terminal. So now what we're gonna do is just put our light cover back on and that just snaps in place. We'll reinstall our light bulb close the cover and we're done time to test okay let's press the push button and see if this door will open so there it goes doors opening before it would quit halfway through um, because of a loose connection so this door is opening all the way uh, so it looks like it's working so I think we fixed it I know from past experience that those interconnects on those PC boards can give you problems over time. Uh, had that not worked, we would have had to order a PC board assembly. I've got a picture of one right here from North Shore. Um, but I just saved you $85, assuming it wasn't the PC board. So if you found this video helpful, please hammer that like button. And if you really think I nailed it, then please subscribe. And any comments, I'll be sure to reply. Thanks for watching.